Hello, everybody. Now, Mark Zuckerberg just recently announced that he expects AI will replace or eliminate most coding jobs as Meta is rolling out its vision for the future. Now, if you know Mark Zuckerberg, you know this is not just your average guy making wild predictions, right? Meta is one of the biggest employers of developers across the globe. Meta is investing billions and billions of dollars into AI. And Mark Zuckerberg himself started out as a programmer. So this is, like I said, this is not just some random individual making predictions. And this leads to the next question, which a lot of people ask me, that what about cybersecurity? As AI is becoming more and more efficient, more and more advanced, are we at risk of becoming obsolete? So in this video, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to try to separate the hype from the actual reality and more importantly, show you what are the ways in which you can future proof yourself. So make sure to watch till the end. And I make this video literally every year, but I keep updating it just to make sure that I am in touch with the latest advancements that are happening across the globe. If you're new to this channel, my name is Tamarish Lal. I'm a senior security consultant with Amazon Web Services in UK. I have over 20 plus years of experience within the field. And I made this channel basically to give advice on cloud security, AI, and whatever career advice I can help people with. So let's get started. So this is what I was referring to, everybody, that Mark Zuckerberg just recently in an interview, he mentioned that like, is software engineering uh, dead or not? Like he expects that AI engineers might claim coding jobs from professionals at Meta. And just to be very clear, he didn't say that coding is going to get eliminated, but he just said that people are gonna be using AI more and more when it comes to doing coding so that developers might get like a lot of developing jobs might get eliminated. And this is honestly nothing new. Like I think this was published in January, 2025, this month, literally a year back, the NVIDIA CEO said the same thing that this AI is like gonna completely make coding obsolete and uh, it'll, developers will completely get replaced. I do not agree with this. I do not believe developers will 100% ever get replaced, but a lot of that activity will get offloaded on to generative AI as AI becomes more and more advanced. And always remember that today, as of today, this is the worst that AI will ever be. AI will only get better as time goes along. AI is not gonna get like dumber, it's gonna get more smarter, more efficient. As computing power, it gets access to more computing power, more and more data, right? And shortly after this announcement, Meta did announce that 5% of stuff is being eliminated. And you know, they were they talked about performance uh, basically people who are having low performance, but a lot of people did mention that the coincidence was too much that right after they, he announced that about AI, we had a 5% of people uh, being targeted as low performance and being, their job positions being eliminated. So this goes back to the point I was making, what about cybersecurity? Like, uh, should we be getting scared also, just like developers are a bit nervous right now with AI coming after their jobs, you know, this AI monster, as they say, is coming after every job. Will AI replace cybersecurity jobs. Now, the short answer to this question is no. AI will not replace cybersecurity jobs. AI is simply too crucial a function to offload onto AI. Wholesale elimination of cybersecurity jobs will never happen. That I can say that clearly. But the point is the question itself is wrong. This question which people ask, will AI replace cybersecurity jobs? This question is incorrect. The question that should be asked is, Will AI replace cybersecurity tasks? The tasks that you are doing in your everyday, day-to-day -day job in cybersecurity, will those get replaced? The answer to that is absolutely yes. As AI becomes more and more advanced, it gets better. It will replace a lot of tasks that we are doing. So this is something which you have to understand and appreciate, okay? People just think I'm some in air of what is gonna come and sit at my desk and it's gonna be doing what I'm doing. No, of course not. But a lot of that jobs which you're doing, your task, it'll get offloaded onto an intelligent AI system, an autonomous AI. And what tasks will AI replace? So this is again, like what are the potential areas? Anything which has to do with, which applies very little critical human thinking, which is redundant, which is like monotonous. You know, you're doing things over and over, the same things over and over again, that is vulnerable to AI automation. Like a few examples I'll give you like a level one incident response. Now, before the people in the SOC teams, they jump on me, I'm not talking about the people who are actually doing like proper incident response. I'm talking about those people who get an alert for the SIM, they open a ticket, you know, they just email the guy, get a response, close the ticket. This sort of incident response will completely be replaced by AI. AI agents are intelligent enough to like basically get an alert, create a ticket, uh, follow up with a person, 
close the ticket those sort of redundant activities which you're doing again and again you know you're you're basically your performance metric is how many tickets were opened and closed during the day this will get replaced similarly with vulnerability scanning and very important please do note what i said i did not say vulnerability management or vulnerability analysis i said vulnerability scanning meaning your job is you get a list of ips you put it into a qualis scanner or some other scanner nessus you run a scan you download a pdf and you email it to the it department please fix these vulnerabilities if that is a large part of your task that will get offloaded to again to ai you do an ai system can easily be provided the list of IPs. It can scan. It can generate. It can do some basic level analysis, and it can provide you the summary report. You do not need a human being to do this. Writing SIM rules, basically simple SIM rules. If you're a stock engineer and you're writing basic SIM rules, people come to you. Hey, can you write this rule for Splunk or something like that? Right. Again, this can be offloaded to a generative AI to very very easily. Basic SIM rules can be very easily written. Patch management. Again, that if you're just rolling out patches or you're following up on patches, making sure those patches, all of this can be automated. It's already automated to a large extent within the cloud. But if you are still on-prem, these activities can get offloaded to an AI. And lastly, documentation. If your, your job is to get details about an incident, write a summary report, write policies, create audit checklists, a lot of that activity can get offloaded to an AI. I'm not saying if you had like five people doing documentation, all of them will get fired. One person can do that job now with the help of AI provided he knows what he is doing. If you have a proper generative AI model trained on your company's data, you will be shocked at how efficient it becomes very, very quickly. So this is, first of all, this is my 100% subjective opinion. Please don't get mad at me. A lot of people get very mad when I make this prediction, but I'm just, my job is to be honest with you. These are things which you have to understand. Anything which is monotonous, which requires repetitive things over and over again, that is completely vulnerable to being replaced by AI, right? You have to keep these things in mind. And a very, very important thing, which people are, I think, not appreciating as much, it is the rise of AI agents or autonomous AI. Now, what is autonomous AI if you are not aware? So currently, how are you using generative AI right now? What happens? You just go to ChatGPT or whatever, and you board and you write a prompt, right? You say, I want to do this for me, summarize this, tell me about this, blah, blah, blah. And it gives you back a response, right? It's a series of prompts of information. You're querying the Gen AI. It's giving you responses back. Now with autonomous AI, we are moving from prompt to tasks. It's actually going to do work. So you could go to like a uh, AI agent and say, book me the best flight from, I don't know, uh, UK to Singapore. Okay, just, just giving an example. And what it's going to do, it's going to take this prompt. It's going to break it down into subtasks. And one by one, it's going to do that task through a series of API calls. It's going to it's gonna find out what are the best flights available, right? Through a series of API calls. It's going to find out what's your budget. It's going to find out how to make that booking, what's the best flight, make that API call, and then send you the booking. And this is completely possible now through API calls, but AI agents are going to make this very, very simple and very, very efficient. Now, already there are predictions. There are many reports already available. I'm going to make it, I'm going to put it in the comment section that the Deloitte have already predicted that 25% of companies will start using AI or deploying AI agents by 2025. Companies have already started this. I can assure you of that. They are looking at the use cases where AI agents can help them out. If you're familiar with robotic process automation, this used to happen, but that was more like very redundant activities. But AI agents are intelligent and they can start doing this sort of activities. So already these predictions are there. And as you can see here, this is a very excellent graph given by Deloitte and they show like as the automation increases and the complexity of the task increases, we're going to look at completely autonomous AI. Like at the far right, the upper right corner, you can see this is like an energetic coding engineer. They, they're predicting this will come. It will be able to do most of the like, like the task which developers do. It can create workloads, create complete applications because that is the level of intelligence it will be able to reach. And this same thing applies to cybersecurity tasks also. AI agents are here and they are becoming more and more efficient. Even Gartner, uh, I made a video on this a few months back, like the, their top 10 trends for 2025, they mentioned this. They mentioned that one of the key activities that is happening is AI agents are becoming more and more smarter. A lot of people say that, look, AI agents are gonna cost a lot because you're gonna have like 200, $300 per AI agent. But if you're paying somebody, I don't know, like 3,000, $4,000, and he is also making mistakes, an AI agent, 
it costs three hundred dollars per month. It has an error rate of I don't know ten percent, right? You can live with that. People think that companies are going to wait for AI agents to become perfect. No, they're going to start rolling it out, start testing it out, and see where the efficiency lies. So please, you have to understand this. AI agents are here and they're becoming more and more smart. And just to show you, ChatGPT has also rolled out basic ChatGPT task. Instead of just prompting, you can actually tell ChatGPT to, hey, try and do a task, do this task for me on a repetitive basis. And it's actually, you know, I asked it to make like a simple recipe for me. So it told me it's going to like recommend a new recipe every Monday afternoon. And a lot of people have said this is just their prototype for agents. So once ChatGPT, just like generative AI became mainstream, once uh, OpenAI released it and to the uh, world, similarly, agents are going to become mainstream very, very soon. That's why you need to understand what they are and what their capabilities are. Right. So how to future proof yourself. Right. OK. This was like a, I didn't mean to scare you or make you nervous. The whole point of this is to show you what the capabilities are, how AI is quickly advancing. So understand that AI will never replace critical thinking. Right. If you're having an incident, AI will not be the one to talk to the team and make them calm down. It will not take the team out for a lunch if the morale is low. It will not be able to resolve like issues. It will it will, does not have emotional intelligence if you have conflict between the teams. These sort of things AI will never be able to do. Okay. So the standard things like emotional intelligence, critical thinking, presentation skills, business communication, AI cannot read between the lines. Remember that. Like if a customer is talking to you or a CEO is talking to you and you know he's AI cannot read between the line to understand what this guy is saying. Human beings can only do that. So those sort of things will never go away. But apart from that, what other skills you have to understand? AI security. All these things that I talked about, remember AI is going to replace tasks. It's going to create new tasks also. And I've said this many, many times, the security of AI agents, the security of generative AI, all of these things, it, it, a whole new field is being created for AI security. I've made a complete video on this. Do check that out about how to get into AI security, how to start learning it. Similarly, quantum security, quantum computing is coming up, is becoming more and more powerful. Just last year, NIST has released its standards. Once quantum computing becomes mainstream, it will make all the current encryption algorithms obsolete. The vast majority of companies are going to be running to try to make this, uh, like uh, try to migrate to quantum resistant cryptography. And this will become a very, very hot field. Check that out. I have a complete course on Udemy. Sorry, I don't mean to publicize my courses here, but I'm just saying that the, in the description, you'll find my Udemy course on quantum security. Cloud security, obviously. Remember AI, nobody is going to put AI on-prem. Everybody is going to, because it needed so many, so much quantum, like, uh, sorry, so much computing power and storage. Everybody is going to go to the cloud. So having cloud security skills like AWS, Azure, uh, Google Cloud, all of them, th these skills will remain in very, very relevant. Check my videos on this on how to get good at cloud security. And lastly, AI governance. As AI becomes more and more popular, more and more relevant, governments are going to put in regulations. We have things like the EU AI Act, the NIST AI Risk Management Framework. That is a very, very happening field, a very, very important field. Check that out also, because that will really help you to position yourself as a subject matter expert. The vast majority of governments around the globe, they are putting in AI regulations. So this is, again, will be a very, very hot field. So I hope this gave you a good idea uh, of what the practical reality is, opposed to like the hype which comes in. I hope this was useful to you. Uh, let me know in the comment section if you want me to cover anything else. Thank you for listening to me and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.